Today in our 2008 Ford F350 chassis cab, we'll be installing the Takancha Prodigy P2 brake controller, part number 90885, along with part number 3034-P, along with our Hopkins adapter 4 pole to 7 and 4 pole, part number 37185, mounted to the universal mounting bracket, part number 18136. Our first step will be starting at the rear of the vehicle, attaching the mounting bracket. We'll be doing a custom install on this particular application, so we'll go ahead and take the mounting bracket and set it on the vehicle. Then we can take a paint marker, mark out the area around where we can attach the bracket to the vehicle, and at this particular location is the cross member. Then we'll go ahead and remove the bracket and pre-drill the holes into the cross member. Next, I'll go ahead and take a pair of vice grips and secure the bracket over the holes that we just drilled out. Now we'll be able to go ahead and pre-drill all the way through the bracket. Now that we've finished our pre-drilled hole on the driver's side, we'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the passenger side. Now with our pre-drilled holes going through the bracket, we'll move over to our stationary object where we can drill larger holes through our pre-drilled holes through the bracket. This will allow us to take our self-tapping screws, go down through the bracket and into the cross member at our pre-drilled attachment points. Now with our bracket secured to the vehicle, we'll move over and attach the seven pole bracket to the seven pole using the hardware provided with our install kit. Note, quick tech tip, if you plan on wrapping up these wires with some electrical tape, I recommend to do it before you attach it to the vehicle. It can make it easier. Note, we will not be using the purple wire coming from our seven pole, so we'll go ahead and cut it off short and wrap it up inside the black electrical tape. The purple wire would connect your reversed trailer lights, which will not be needed for this application. Now we're ready to go ahead and attach it to the vehicle. We'll use the hardware provided with the universal mounting bracket to secure the seven pole bracket to our universal mounting bracket. Now with that done, we can go ahead and start connecting our wires. Here on the manufacturer's side, we'll be using the red wire, which will be our hot lead, connected directly to the black wire from our seven pole and the blue wire, which will be the brake control circuit coming from our brake controller to the blue wire on our seven pole. We'll cut off the manufacturer ends, strip them back, then attach them to the yellow bud connectors already attached to our seven pole wiring. Next, We'll take the four pole on the vehicle side and connect it with the four pole on our new seven pole connector end. Quick tech tip, I recommend to put some dielectric grease in between these two connection points to help keep out corrosion. Now with all those connections made, I'll go ahead and take some black electrical tape wrap up our wires to help keep out dirt, dust, debris, and moisture. We'll go ahead and use some black zip ties to secure our wiring. Next, we'll take the white wire with the pre-attached ring terminal coming from our seven pole and secure it to the frame or cross member of the vehicle. This will be the ground for our new seven and four pole connector. Using a self-tapping screw, we can go ahead and attach this, the ring terminal directly to the cross member. Then we'll cut off the excess from our zip ties to clean up the install look. Next, we'll move into the cab of the vehicle. We'll need to locate the manufacturer's brake control plug. For this application, it's located behind the coin holder. So we'll need to pop the panel loose holding the auxiliary switches then pop free the coin holder panel. As you can see, just behind the coin holder is a gray electrical plug. Pressing on the locking tab, we can remove it from the coin holder. 
This will allow us to take our direct fit brake control plug and plug into the manufacturer's wiring. We'll take the opposite end, which will plug into the back of our brake controller and feed it behind the dash panel underneath where we can gain access to it. Now we'll go ahead and reinstall the interior trim panels. Next, we'll take the brake controller pocket holder and secure it to the dash using the screws provided with our install kit. Now, we'll take the brake control plug end, feed it through the pocket holder, and make the connection with the brake controller. As you can see, it'll power up the brake controller. Now we'll go ahead and drop the brake controller into the pocket and secure it. Next, we'll take a couple black zip ties and secure the excess wiring up underneath the dash. We'll cut off the excess from our zip ties. And this will complete the install of our Prodigy P2 brake controller with direct fit plug, part number 90885, along with part number 3034-P, in conjunction with the new seven and four pole connector, part number 37185, and our universal mounting bracket, part number 18136, on our 2008 Ford F350 cabin chassis.